child is looking for his father he went 90 meters in east before turning to his right so basically let's say this is the starting point right now the child who is looking for his father went 90 meters in the east before turning right right so first step is move 90 meters in the east direction 90 meters in the east direction right before turning to his right so after covering 90 meters in east after covering 90 meters in east he has turned right now you know that when a person is walking towards east or facing east the right will be towards south you just have to you know put yourself in that path and trace as simple as that so 90 meters to the east and then he turns right and after turning to his right he went 20 meters so after turning to his right he has went 20 meters so he's turned right he's went 20 meters before turning to his right again right 20 meters before turning to his right again so what does he do next he's turned right covers 20 meters and then turns to his right again now look at this person now is facing south and when a person is facing south the right of that person will be towards our left right so he has turned in this direction now so he's turned to his right again to look for his father at his uncle's place 30 meters from this point so he has found his father uh, I mean, he's looking for his father at his uncle's place, 30 meters from this point. So from this point, he covers 30 meters. 30 meters. He's able to follow. He turned right, covered 30 meters. So this is this actually is his uncle's place. You understand? This is his uncle's place. Is it? Sorry. Yeah. So this is his uncle's place. Now, his father was not there. He's created some story there. I don't know why he's spending so much time. The next point is, from there, he went 100 meters to his north. From there, he has gone 100 meters to his north. Now, his north is nothing but the same north, right? I mean, your north and my north cannot be different, right? North is always north. So, he has gone 100 meters in the northern direction. So, he, he moves in the north direction by 100 meters, right? This is 100 meters. This length is 100 meters, basically, all right? Uh, before meeting his father in the street. So he meets his father at this. This is the meeting point. This is a meeting point. So the question is, how far did the son meet his father from the starting point? See, this was the starting point, if you remember. Right? This is the starting point, and here's the meeting point. So we've got to find out the distance between these two points. You see this dotted line? This is what we need to connect. How far did he find his father from the starting point? Now, if you see, this is like a, you know, let's say this is the point S, this is the point M, and this is P. So SMP makes a right angled triangle. I'm sure all of you have got this very easily, right? SMP is right angled triangle. And for you to be able to find this length, you have to apply the Pythagoras theorem. Now try to calculate these distances, right? How much is this distance? MP. What is MP? See, M to this uncle's place is 100. M to this uncle's place is 100. And this is 20. So this will be 100 difference 20. You understand? This total is 100. But this point P is 20 meters above uncle's place, right? So 100 minus 20, this will be 80. You getting it? 100 minus 20. How about this one? PS, if you if you look at it from this point, from starting point to this is 90. This complete length is 90. But out of that, this is this 30 has to be subtracted, right? Because we are covering SP. We are, we are trying to identify what is SP. So SP is going to be 90 difference 30. 90 difference 30 is 60, right? This is like 90 minus 30. Done. One is 80, the other is 60. So what should be ms? Pythagoras theorem, right? Root over 80 squared plus 60 squared. So that's like 6400 plus 3600, 10,000. And square root of 10,000 is 100. So this comes out to be 100. So his father was found 100 meters from his starting point. Option C would be the answer.